Hello, and thank you for joining me for another morning cup of inspiration. You know, I was talking the other day about God talking to me and telling me grace, grace, when I was quick to anger. And I started thinking more about that. And I was going, you know, why are we tested like this? Why does, does God allow this? And the answer came to me, yes, he does. He does allow this. It's not that he, he tests us himself, but he allows us to be tested. And he does that so that we'll know that we're not right with him yet. You know, we could say we're Christians, but if we can't control our tongue, then we're just, we're not an asset to the kingdom. And God points this out to us and he lets us be tested so that we can figure this out for ourselves. And then we can make the adjustments and say, I'm going to go on and live my life for Christ. I'm going to represent Christ in the right way. You know, even in James 1, 3 and 4, it says, because you know that testing of your faith produces perseverance, let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete. See, when we realize the things that we're doing and how they're affecting our Christianity or our salvation or our representation, that gives us cause to pause. And that gives us a chance to regroup and get right with God again. You know, in James 1, 12, it also says, Blessed is the one who perseveres under trial, because having stood the good test, that person will receive the crown of life that the Lord has promised to those who love him. Wow. We're going to be tested, but we're going to persevere. We're going to come through it. And just like it happened to me, I was caught. Finally, I was caught. I didn't let my anger get to me. And it was like I had grace, grace come into my head and realized I had to be gracious. Well, this is going to happen again another time. God's not going to say we're never going to be tested. He's not going to test us, but he's going to allow us to be tested. And we're going to come through with flying colors because we're putting Christ first in our life. I hope that's blessed you today and has helped you. I look forward to seeing you again for another morning cup of inspiration. God bless you, everyone.